this place was sketchy for a while. I remember when I got, um, the first time I got into this back half, if you're familiar with Elden Ring, you know that this, I guess I can provide commentary on some of the here. If you're familiar with Elden Ring, there's this whole like underground city called Nocron, I believe. Um, and then there's this area. The first time I got to the back half, which is where I'm at now, I would get killed by those dudes with the arrows so fast. There are some big like minotaur looking dudes who have kind of like that, but big bows. When I first got back here, they insta kill me. This is a clutch grab here. Well, 12,000 runes. At this stage of the game, if you look at the top left, this is fairly early on. So 12k runes is huge. Uh, another thing you do is you go and you interact. I can't actually remember what it does entirely, but you see there's like Egyptian monolith, mono, mono obelisk, obelisk. Um, yeah, right there, boom. You hit a bunch of them and something happens. This is an Ash of War, so this has been the first time I killed it. I think after you get it the first time, they just drop either health or, or mana, right? It's, it's legit been a year and a half since I've played this game seriously. Actually, probably closer to two years since I've played it seriously, a year and a half since I've cat like dabbled in it. And then this, these, this is actually, I think, originally how I got back to this back half. Yeah, now that I remember it, so this is another reason why I'm going and making this video, not just for the hat, like for my own sake. Um, that's right. So there's like an the other end of this portal is forward ahead in the map, like right there. It's in the middle of like a bunch of like those like muddy octopus gross things with the tentacles. Yeah, they're super gross. Um, boom, and that actually bypasses the section of the woods that has all of the archers. So I don't actually know if I've even made it from where the arches are, that like bridge, to here organically. I think I took the teleport, did this area back here. So when I do hop on, I want to actually come down here and actually kill the archers and, and you know, uh, mosey my way, boom, boom, boom. And then back at the beginning, like right behind my character here is like an elevator platform thing. And I don't know if I've used that yet either. Now, again, I I would love to do it perfectly chronologically in order. Uh, recapping all of these videos, it's just not likely. Uh, long story short, I would love to do them chronologically. Just don't know if, you know, I'm going to try my best. Um, these are some of the earliest footage I have on my PlayStation still. Let me ask you something. Are you here in the lands between to take up the fight? Does your faith in the guidance of grace hold firm? despite the collapse of the Golden Order. My honest to a fault, I see. Such thoughts won't behoove you as a tarnished, but there's nothing. Um, I accidentally wind up, and again, this is not, let me clarify, I'm not trying to make like a perfectly edited video that cuts to all the cool bits. This is also a big thing of like me reminding myself before I dive back in because my save file is like 260 hours in and I don't really feel like starting over, but it's been like two years since I've played and there's so much juiciness. So it's little things like this, like this conversation, I accidentally attack him later on and he becomes like every time, basically I attacked him once, ran away. I was like, oh, I didn't mean to, maybe he'll reset. Every time I'd come back here, he'd uh, maybe only at night, there's something, not maybe not every time anyways um he'd come after me and eventually i fought him and killed him um i'm a big like map ocd person so like this is the map when you first start before you get it any of it unlocked you can see storm veil is kind of like where my cursor is up and to the left um this is a cool shot dude v feeling very like lord of the rings like that's Orthanc or barra barra door barra door so sick Names, that fight boom that's me getting more i am alexander also known as the iron fist and as you can see i'm stuck here i freed him 
talk, I think this is when you get your round table and you talk to her for the first time, which comes after like, I think you have to, what, go to like a campfire five times or a certain amount of times. That's taking me to the round table. This is a zoomed out version of that. Meet Margaret. So like, yeah, I'm not gonna fancy edit it, but we're still hopping around with some good juicy stuff. I shall remember the tarnished. Voice acting in this game is otherworldly. One more time. I did have the jellyfish out the lane. I not I probably tried to fight like 30 times without it. But I didn't summon the person. And I think at this point I didn't realize that it wasn't it was like frowned upon to do the summons. Um, but I didn't summon the, the person. Or like NPC name. This is a stunning shot. It's one of my favorite, I mean favorite down on my PlayStation. Outside Stormvale, the Erd Tree. Whew. The first time I went in this room, it was mad. Cause like I go in there, it's super dark. I don't know he's there. I hear like laughing. The door slams behind you. This is in Stormvale. I'm like, oh, let me know. Let me, uh, I'm gonna come back and reset here. Oh, and he's like, I'm coming after you. So I, oh, oh, didn't die. Super clutch. Um, I was a magic user, but. I did know that like magic is frowned upon in front like range weapons and front soft. So it must be said. One thing I would try to do, especially on main bosses and stuff, is uh I will all I would always try to at least finish them, pause, with melee. Um with a melee attack. And we can get into the um anywho. This is me actually going the kind of, I, oh, look at top right. So as many will know, you one of the chests that you open up, like freaking ports you into K-Lit of all places. Super spooky, super scary. I died so many times in that little mine cave area. So many times. Um, one, one of the dudes, they're like kind of like walking centipedes. And they have like Iron Man missiles. They lock onto you, they're nuts. But um, then you get out and it's just like rot everywhere. That is a rude awakening. For people who hit that chest and go there, it was wicked. But you can also see top right is where the little moonstone thing is that gives you the map. Oh, parkour poppy. You know who they call me. You know what they call me. Oh! So I have a few bear jump moments. Here's one. Oh, this is nice. Look at this, this is gonna come together. Look, oh, and I think I see him at the last second. I'm like, oh, spooky oh, time. See, I'm now in this moment, I'm using my claw, the, like Wolverine claws. I thought those were pretty sick. 